what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel so we're going over cameron's volkswagen build today giving you guys a little bit more in-depth video than what we gave you yesterday when we just put the uh, wheels and tires on if you guys haven't seen that video make sure you guys go ahead and do that i'll link that down below in the description for you guys to check out i'll also link cameron's channel down in the description he's gonna have a ton of awesome content out on this thing he's also gonna have a lot more in-depth version about what we're doing today on his channel so that'll be cool to see if you guys do enjoy this build make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to his channel um he's had a ton of support on his first couple of videos which is really cool to see and his channel is kind of starting to take off a little bit so make sure you guys go ahead like and subscribe to his channel and everything like that but let's head and go over this so like what what was this when you bought it like what year so, and everything it's a 1957 uh you can call it like a european model volkswagen so this was there's a couple small details that make it, they only made it in Europe, but so I'm just going to give you a general overview of what's done. If you would like to see more in depth, I mean, you can go to my channel and see the videos I've posted where I do pre go in pretty good detail of stuff, but it's going to be a street strip car. So it's, um, it's going to be hopefully, I'll hopefully dip into the nines with it in the quarter mile, but it's not going to be like a comfortable get in and cruise road trip car, but I'm just hopefully going to get some enjoyment out of running on the street. Um, it will be, I mean, this thing came with like a 40 horsepower engine stock and it's hopefully going to be around like 450. Um, it's going to be turbo. It's going to be EFI, probably water meth injection. But if you guys saw the last video, I just got my new users for the back. Some pretty meaty boys for that. So well, hopefully they'll hook up the track. Like I said, guys, that video is linked in the description. I'll link his and mine so you guys can check them out. It's two sort of different views on the process of mounting these and everything like that. Also, when he said, you said what, 450 horsepower-ish, somewhere in that range. Cons all right, think about this. The car weighs nothing compared to the Jeep. We just weighed today and it's 11.35 as it sits. So it weighs 11.35. I have no idea what the Jeep weighs, but it's considerably more than that. And this has over double the horsepower that like my JKU has. So this thing's gonna be really, really quick. I also have not told you guys, but I have been considering picking up a car for the channel. So who would wanna see like a race between a car that you buy that's still pretty quick? I'm not gonna tell you what car yet, because if it doesn't happen, I don't wanna be like kind of throwing out hints and then not get it. And then like an actual like built race car. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Comment down below if you guys would be interested in seeing that. Convince them in the comments when you make that happen. You guys don't have to, it's gonna be an expensive <laughs> buy. <laughs> But um, tell us about this cage and everything you've done in here. The yeah, interior looks sick so far. Yeah, it's all kind of rough. Everything's tacked together, but the cage is hopefully going to be certified to 850. So eight, eight, point, eight and a half seconds quarter mile time. Um, like I said, I'm not going to run that fast, but she's sturdy and hopefully will keep me from dismembering myself if I crash. That'd be ideal. <laughs> and then, like I mentioned in a previous video, uh, we're considering eventually doing a cage in the Jeep because, I mean, he's made a pretty sick cage here. And my whole thing with the Jeep was I wanted something one of a kind with the cage that nobody else has. And he's definitely the guy to do it. He's really good at that. He, what I like doing is not what everybody else does. hundred so. percent. He also is going to start having a little bit of Jeep content thrown in the mix on his channel. So I know you guys like Jeep content, so make sure you guys subscribe for that one. Um, we're going to take him off-roading with us a lot and everything. He already goes with us, but he's just started YouTube. So he'll get some footage out for that. Um, tell us why the seats are mounted to the cage, like the bar that goes from the... Yeah, so that's, I mean, just per NHRA spec, they want support around your shoulder area right there. So it's just a through bolted plate to the seat. And then, you know, this little tie bar is bolted up here. That'll swivel. And then it's just got to be connected to your harness bar. Because, you know, I guess in the event of a crash, Everything's getting jerked around. They don't want the actual seat going back and forth with you and just to prevent injuries and stuff like that. But, that makes sense. Yeah. And then, so you're going to have like full harnesses in here? Yeah, so I'm doing five point, probably on Braun Racing harnesses. They look really nice. They got a gray car too. They'll probably match the car. Same ones the Jeep has, guys. Yeah. <laughs> and then he also has, I really like his Braun Racing seats a lot better than I like mine. Do you know what this model was called by chance? Uh, I think it's the Falcon X. The name of it. I think these look 10 times cooler than the ones the Jeep has, but they look really good in this car especially, and definitely looks like a pretty tight fit you had there with mounting yeah, these and getting everything set up. I mean, 
and everything in this car is pretty tight. So, we, but we squeezed everything we needed in there. I think it's pretty cool that this car is going to be still driven on the street and everything like that, but also a track car. I mean, if you think about it, it's kind of like what we did with the Jeep to where like we built it to be able to go off-roading and do what we want, but you can still go cruise around on the weekends, drive wherever you want on the road. And honestly, it's probably going to be a lot more fun driving this on the road than only at the track on the weekends when you go. Yeah, it was just, it's a lot of time and money and it'd be cool to enjoy it other than, it's like if you were to build his Jeep to just be a purely off-road rig and only be able to enjoy it on the trails. He gets to drive his to do whatever he wants and enjoy it all the time. So that's kind of the plan with this thing. Now, let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in seeing like race footage of this thing. Obviously not soon or anything. I think you said what, like a year, year and a half time frame? Yeah, yeah, probably. So at some point, would you guys like to see like racing content of this thing actually going down the track? I think that'd be really cool. We can obviously like mount up some GoPros or something like that on the car or like on his helmet or on the cage. I mean, there's a ton of mounting points on the cage alone. But I think we get some pretty cool angles with this and it would be something really cool to put on the channel that's not Jeep oriented because I did put a poll in the community tab that if you guys don't keep an eye out for that, make sure you guys go ahead and do that because I ask you guys a ton of questions on there and give you sneak peeks at the next videos. But I ran a poll and everybody seemed like they were interested in seeing like other automotive kind of things, not strictly Jeep stuff. And honestly, I do pretty much something automotive oriented every single day. I mean, we come over here and work on cars I mean, most of the time. 8.30 at night is pretty much what every night at 8.30 looks like for us. So, If you have multiple vehicles that do not run perfectly, <laughs> we got a lot of content to bring you guys. But I mean, yeah, so I want to do a lot more than just Jeep content. It'll also expand the channel a lot, which I think is really cool. But um, yeah, like I said, comment down below if you guys would like to see more racing content of this. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool. I also want to know if you guys would like to see the Jeep go on the racetrack. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be fast. It's 100% not going to be fast. But I think it'd be cool to see what, like, what the time it runs on with like 40s and stuff like that. What do you think it would run if you had to guess like quarter mile time? I would say, as it sits right now, if you fed her the beans, probably 16, 17 seconds. Okay, what would this run? <laughs> like when it's done? When it's done, hopefully. Probably normally somewhere in the 10s, but... If you set it all kill and go just before it explodes, it'll probably run a nine, nine something, high nine. So this thing would 100% smoke the Jeep on the track, but obviously it's going to be a lot faster than Jeep. Um, but you have a ton of custom work done, like this fuel tank up here. You made yeah. this, right? So yeah, you can look behind you over there. I mean, we have all the aluminum sheets over there. Just started with a couple of those. Um, drew it all out, made it up with cardboard, just the old school tried and true way making sure everything's going to work. How much and fuel will this hold? 13 gallons around about total. I mean, that's pretty good considering you won't need too, too much on the track, yeah. but also since it's a street car, it'd be nice to have. Yeah. Now, what are you like, any future modifications you have planned that are like near future they can look out for on your channel? Um, yeah, so the next thing I'm going to do is get those rear fenders mounted and then I've got some carbon, those are carbon fiber. I've got carbon fiber front fenders, hood, deck lid, a bunch of that stuff coming. And um, so once I get that, all that stuff figured out, it'll be pretty much time to take it off and weld up the whole cage. So. Now, one thing that he's got to do with his cage, that like in all of our Jeeps that have cages and everything like that, his has to be certified to run the way you do, like by time or speed, or yeah, how does so that work? There's a couple different tiers. The one I'm shooting for is like, if you run, there's like, it's 850 to 999. So if I want to run it below a 10 second, I have to get certified for up to eight and a half seconds. But. It's a pretty big window when you're talking about the drag racing yeah. that you have to get it certified for. Yeah. Now I did want to show you guys this before we end the video. Now it might be like, not that cool to you guys, but I thought it was pretty cool. The way that they have the back, what is this? Like a wing essentially for your car. Yeah. How these triangles are in here. So you use this machine, right? Yeah, so it's a big roller. Just um, basically just clamp it in there. So <clears throat> loosen it up. It's got different dies for different designs, and you crank that thing down so it makes that impression on it. And it's electric. It just rolls through, and you just kind of walk it and make whatever design you want on it. So I'm sure that was pretty difficult to get pretty right on here, but I think that's like a pretty cool touch to it. Add some like not like depth, but like detail to your build. Yeah, just something. And then you said you were going to, what, anodize this black, you said? Yeah, yep. And then he also, I don't know if we mentioned it in this video, you're going with like a dark charcoal gray? Yeah, so it'll be like a charcoal metallic gray with black. Everything aluminum is going to be black anodized, and then 
black accents all the way around. Have you decided on like the exact color yet? No, I keep looking around. There's like, I didn't know until I started looking, but there's like 70,000 different gray colors. Yeah, I mean with gray, you probably chose the one color that there's like on an unlimited amount of options yeah, with. pretty much. But yeah, I mean, this car is going to be sweet when it's done. Um, obviously, we'll show you a little bit more on the channel. But I'm also not going to go like crazy in depth about it and steal all those videos or anything like that. So if you guys want to see like a more in-depth walk around, like I said, similar to this, but it goes over like a lot more that he's done to it. A lot of things he's done or plans to do. His channel will be linked down in the description. And then his Instagram, I'll put down here in the corner. It's the Oval VW. Yep, all word. Drop him a follow. Go subscribe to his channel. Make sure you guys like his videos. He's been killing it with the videos so far. Um, like I said, he'll have some Jeep content on there shortly. But that about wraps up this video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.